Hello and welcome to Classic Data Lab, where we provide you with the needed skills to extract insight, add value and make impact from data. In today's video, I want to teach you how to install and launch Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is one of the famous or popular IDE used by data scientists in particular. And today we want to see how to install it and then open it. To easily get access to Jupyter Notebook, it's prudent you install an Aquana distribution, though you can install Jupyter Notebook in VS Code alone, but choosing to access it from Jupyter no uh, an Aquana distribution gives you a lot of advantages in the sense that an Aquana distribution comes with a lot of Python packages are already uh, installed in it. So you will not need to um, be installing some of the packages like NumPy, Pandas, MapRelief, and so on. They are already installed for you. And it also allows you to install other ones if you wish, right? So that's one advantage of using the uh, Anaconda distribution. And apart from Jupyter Notebook, Anaconda distribution comes with uh, Jupyter Lab, uh, RStudio, Spider, um, Orange, and so many uh, IDEs. So it's good we install anaconda distribution so we are going to install anaconda distribution and then launch the anaconda navigator open jupyter notebook from the navigator and also open jupyter notebook from anaconda command from let's start the process so to install anaconda um distribution just go to your browser and type anaconda Okay, yeah, so Anaconda distribution. Be careful to add the distribution so that it doesn't show you Anaconda as in snake, right? Yeah, so Anaconda distribution. You want to add downloads. Okay, so I have it here. So I'll just click on Anaconda distribution and it will take you straight to the Anaconda distribution website here. Mind you, Anaconda distribution is free, right? If you want to uh, download it, don't don't worry yourself about the price. You just go straight and download your your version that you are looking for. So here, um, we have Windows, we have Apple, and we have Linux. I'm going to click uh, download that of the Windows one. Okay, so if you want to do uh, that, we want to download that of the um, Apple. We download for Apple or Linux. Kindly choose it. As you can see here so let's click on windows and it will take us to the place where we can download them so for windows we have 64 bit graphical installer that's the only option here but for mac we have different options and they all come with python 3.9 already installed in it so even if you install an Aquanda distribution you don't even need to worry about python installation unless you want to have python on your system your main system or your operating system does it if not you don't have to worry about installing python again it will automatically have python installed for you and this python 3.9 depending on the version uh, the python version also may may change okay so for mac we have 64 bit graphical installer 64 bit command line installer so you and then 64 bit graphical installer 848 four megabyte so you choose the one you prefer okay and the same thing for linux here i'm just going to click on the windows however i already have it installed so if you click on um this link right it will download it for you so either with your browser or any tool you use for your downloads it will download it for you so my own i've already downloaded it so i'm going straight to where it can be found and then i will show you the process to install it so I go to my downloads and then I go to programs and here it is. So it's uh, Anaconda 3 2022.10 Windows X68 uh, 86 times 64, that's a 64 bit one. So the installation process is similar to any other package or any other application you will install on Windows. Just double click on it and then the process starts okay you could he the one thing you need to just 
do is to click on next 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 go by the default options okay so i'll click on next then i will ag you click on agree to the terms okay then you agree and here you could see it's already selecting just me for you and it's saying it's the one recommended so go by that you click on next and then that's it right now where we are here is asking for the part where it should do the installation um usually the default is okay it's good for you but one trick you have to pay attention is that you shouldn't make sure that in your part there is no space or gap like this over there if there is space or gap um even if anaconda gets installed you will have problems later installing other packages okay so in in creating paths in uh in computer programming try as much as possible not to bring gaps most application will have issues if there's a gap in your path so if you already um have a gap in your path you either change the path or you change the whole naming uh of your path okay so that's it and then you just click on next i already have it installed so i'm just going to cancel this which since i already have it i don't want any contradiction over here all right so i'm just going to cancel this thing all right so if you have an if you go through this process you will have an account distribution installed on your system so so simple right so now we are done with the first part uh downloading and installing anaconda distribution now how do we have access to what we have installed okay so you go to your um your search here i mean on your computer just go to the search box over there and just type anaconda yeah just type in anaconda you realize that the anaconda command prompt shows up and anaconda navigator shows up let's start with the anaconda navigator if you click on anaconda navigator it will open it for you since i already have mine open i'm not going to really uh do that but for demonstration see let me click on it um you realize that you see some black console popping up yes this is normal okay so it will pop up depending on your computer it may take time right for if um uh, your computer too is already uh is strong or fast it may also take you less time all right great if it opens i already have my open so i've just opened that if it opens you will see uh something like this an interface like this okay and it contains different different um ids jupyter lab jupyter notebook powershell prompt r studio pycharm professional um orange spider uh, glue v's and so on all right so some of them are already installed others are not also installed so if you see install 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 and that means that you need to install it so for instance i have not installed r studio so you see that uh, r studio from anaconda command from that's why you're seeing install here if i click on install it will install it for me but i just want to go by the jupyter notebook for now all right so how then do you get access to the notebook now as you can see here you have jupyter notebook the interface may vary depending on the version that you've installed so you can see jupyter notebook here just click on launch and that's all it will open the jupyter notebook in your default browser right it will open the jupyter notebook in your default browser i already have it opened so i'm just going to move straight to uh it and then demonstrate for you right great so i'm moving to i'll just move to my browser and show you how it will look like so if it opens this is how it looks like it opens at a home page this interface may vary depending on what you have on your computer right yeah so this is how um, the notebook opens on your default browser though it opens in a browser it doesn't use internet unless you are installing something so you shouldn't worry about internet or data connection here it will automatically open that for you and it is not online unless you want to install uh, a package or download something that's where you will need to connect to the internet all right so that's this is my default browser is Firefox. Uh, firefox so it opens uh on the firefox browser for me then you can navigate to any folder that you want to 
uh, work with all right so in my case i'm just going to then show you how to open a new notebook so this is the home page this is not the notebook itself right so when you get to the home page and want to open a notebook look at your far right you will see new right just click on that arrow that downward arrow and then click on python 3 and then the notebook will be opened for you so this is the home page and then the notebook is also opening for me when the notebook gets open you will be able to write your codes and do whatever you want to do so this is the notebook right in this uh when it is open you can decide to rename it give it a title so let's call this one uh, notebook one that's it we have it there so it's installed um, i mean it's open it's ready to work right so now this is where you write your codes and you can add as many cells as you want we will later talk about jupyter notebook how to navigate how to write your codes here today the focus is on how to just launch it right so that is one way of launching jupyter notebook you you you, op you open the anaconda navigator launch your jupyter notebook and then select new right from the home page and there you are you have your jupyter notebook opened for you and it's automatically saved however you can decide to save the checkpoints too you will learn about these things later now let's go to the second way of opening uh, uh, a Jupyter notebook so now we want to learn just go back to your search and type anaconda again this time we are, we are not looking for anaconda comma uh, we are not looking for anaconda uh, navigator we want to launch it from anaconda command prompt right so just click on anaconda prompt here and you will see a black console like this when it opens like this just type Jupyter notebook now i'm working on the default anaconda distribution environment so it already have Jupyter notebook installed in there if you are working on a different environment or you've created a different virtual environment um, you will need to install Jupyter notebook before you can launch it from the anaconda command prompt but here we are working with the default anaconda environment so you don't need to worry about anything uh any installation because it's already installed for you and just type jupyter notebook and then press enter this will automatically launch jupyter notebook on your default browser for you right yeah so that's that's how it works uh in the command prompt yeah so it's also taking uh, some few uh minutes and you'll see it launch right so it's just la it launches the same home page as we we saw from the anaconda navigator so now that we are on the home page let's say we want to open a new one okay we we'll just go to new again click on python uh, 3 and then start operating you can call this one notebook 2 or any other name that you prefer okay so here let's call this let's rename this and call it notebook two right let me use underscore two then i'll click on rename and that's it so i have the um notebook again open from anaconda command prompt okay now before we leave the last thing i want to teach you is how to open an existing notebook so for instance you are working or you are going you are going for an interview a job interview or data science in the uh job interview and they've sent you a jupyter notebook with the task in there to accomplish right or to complete so what do you do um you don't need to open a new notebook so you go through the same process all right either through the anaconda command prompt you open the page the home page or through the uh, an acquire navigator open the home page and you navigate to where you have the notebook for instance let's say that i have my notebook in a folder on my desktop so i'll go to desktop like you can see here and then let me say i have it as fraud detection 
like for fraud detection folder is in there right then i'll click on that particular folder it opens for me then you realize that you could see the notebook over there right so i'll just click on the notebook and then it will open for me right so if you are giving a notebook to open an existing notebook to open just make sure that you keep it in the folder navigate to that folder and just click on it and it will open for you so you could see that i have the notebook already opened for me over here right so and i can rerun all these codes just by uh pressing shift enter or do whatever i want with the uh the models or build my models as i want it any task that i need to accomplish i can accomplish i can accomplish that on my notebook right now yeah so that's a, a quick way to download uh, anaconda distribution install it launch jupyter notebook from the anaconda navigator or anaconda command prompt thank you for watching and i hope this video has helped you don't forget to leave a comment and also hit the subscribe button in the next video we are going to learn how to navigate and write codes on jupyter notebook see you then bye for now